guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Punish GUI. This is a fantastic plugin which is very simple to use. It allows you to punish players such as muting them, banning them for a certain amount of time, etc. So before we get started, I've uploaded a new tutorial to the Server Miner YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out and then you'll get double the plugin content from me. Uh, the link will be in the description, so make sure you do that. So the plugin, it's very easy to use. If you do forward slash punish, that is the only command. We need to choose someone, so we're going to choose my other account, and then we need to choose a reason. At the moment, it can only be a single word, but I'm sure the developer is working on making it a string so you can type multiple words and spaces. Let's just go with hacking for this. Hit enter, and then you'll get this GUI up. So up at the top, we can set a warning. We can give them a 48 hour ban or a 14 day ban. Then we can do some muting. This does pop off over the screen. Um, I'm sure the developer knows about this, but you can edit all of this in the config file and change the, uh, the text and whatnot, so it doesn't. Um, but these are the mutes you, you can do. And over here, we can do the permanent uh, mutes and bans. And as you can see, you can do an IP ban as well. This is a last resort, so people with alt accounts will not be able to join. So if your brother gets banned and he's on the same IP as you, well, you can't get on either. Down at the bottom, we have the final button, which clears all of the punishments if they've been good or apologized or whatnot. So let's go ahead and give them a warning first, and it will say they have received a warning. I'm going to show you what that looks like by actually giving myself a warning. So let's go ahead and do that. Click warning, and we'll get this message. So it's in red, warning. You are receiving a warning from a staff member for reason test. If you continue to break rules, you run the risk of being punished. And then what happens if we continue to break rules? Well, we could get a mute or a ban. Let's try that out. So what we need to do is full slash punish, um, the same command, and let's go with chat abuse. There we go. And we're going to select the red mute, so 14 days. So click this, and we are now muted. It says in chat, you are now muted for 14 days because, ch because chat abuse. LT Jim has been muted. So if we try and type in chat, it will not allow us. It will say you are still muted and it will continue for two weeks. So if we want to unmute ourselves, it's very straightforward. You do the same command, go to the torch in the bottom right hand corner and that will unmute you. And it says you are now unmuted. Now don't do it again. Now let's get on to the bans. So if people are being really bad, you might need to ban them from the server. So let's go ahead and check that out. So you can give them a 48 hour ban or a 14 day ban. Let's give ourselves a 48 hour ban. Click this and it says you've been banned from the server for 48 hours for reason test. If we try and rejoin, obviously it will not let us and it gives the reason and it says your ban will be removed on and it gives the date. So 2018, March and the 9th at 7.25 Greenwich Mean Time. So that is a really cool feature that tells you all of this information and obviously you'd need to wait that out or do the pardon command. So I'm on my other account now as this one is still on the server and not banned and if we want our other account to be unbanned we can either do full slash pardon and their username. If we've IP banned them we can do full slash pardon hyphen IP and that will unban a particular IP address or we can do full slash punish their username so LT Jim and then go to the torch again and clear all punishments and then they will be able to join the server. So that is how it works in game. We are going to have a very brief look at the config files. There's really not too much in there, but it's still a cool plugin. So here we are in the Punished GUI folder, and as you can see, there is a single file. If we open it up, we can see that we have all of the different um, GUI messages and text. So you can change any of this. You can remove words, you can change the format codes, and you can change the rules. So admins know which one to pick when a player does a particular wrongdoing. So if they've been swearing, they might choose severity one or two, but if they've been uh, verbally abusing others and spamming and all that good stuff, they might choose severity three and ban them. Down at the bottom, we have the muted list. Obviously when I muted my other account, he appeared here. But that is pretty much it for the config file. It's very short. Um, hopefully the developer adds more features to this plugin, such as changing the mute and ban times, etc. But that is it for me. Make sure you check out the Serve Miner plugin tutorial. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.